with the elusive otter and flow of knowledge with the eidetic memory here things are about to get pretty crazy and we draw a bazillion cards we survived how many board wipes farewell path of peril deadly cover up temporary lockdowns it doesn't matter ggs ladies and gentle mages civilians across the multiverse welcome back to another episode of man of man and today We've got a juicer for it before we dig into the deck. Make sure you leave a like on the video. The button looks just like this, and it does help out the channel tremendously. I know it's cliche, but I really would appreciate it. Let's go ahead and dive right into the Discord in the pinned comments below. If you'd like to join us, let's go ahead and dig right in. Speaking of the Discord, shout out to Soggy Toolbox. That kind of made me aware and fetch the idea in our Discord. Um, the Alu not the oh, sorry, we'll get into that in a second, but the Ingenious Prodigy with the Props Eidectic Memory. This is actually really nice. So I never really gave it the time of day to have four of in Props Eidectic Memory to really make like a deck around it. I thought it was more like a one of. It's a legendary after all, but whenever enters the battlefield, draw a card, blah, 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 no maximum hand size. We're not going to have pretty much not going to do the maximum hand size unless we get into the flow of knowledge, which is actually really, really cute. But at the beginning of combat and your turn, if you draw more than one card, put X plus one, one plus one counters on target creature you control. Now, a lot of times with the Prodigy, even if you do place for zero, it's a zero one. What you can do, again, it's not the most optimal thing, but it's either, it, usually the Prodigy, you're either doing one of two things. You're making it really small, just so that you can get infinite card draw with the Adeptic Memory and the Prodigy, or you're doing it like huge. So it's either like a zero one or, you know, most of the time, it's going to be like, you know, a 7, 8, 9, 10. You're just going to sink all your mana into it. So I really like this Ingenious Prodigy. And speaking of Eldraine, speaking of blue one-drop Eldraine cards that I never played, let's go ahead and drop the Elusive Hotter. Um, maybe I should run a little bit of Greenland uh, for the Distribute, because I actually really haven't really given this point. What we're doing is running it for the props. Creatures with power less than it can't block it. So what we're going to do, basically, we're going to take the props I deck memory, try to get into a flow of knowledge, draw a bazillion cards, and then we're going to use the elusive otter to just win the game now of course we can use this skulk it works the opposite way unfortunately so skulk can't be blocked by creatures with greater power i wish it was lesser power like the uh, like the elusive otter works but so they work opposite of each other so the prodigy and the otter pretty cool cards and i just like the eldraine nice little synergy there but we also have ginger brute ginger brute if we have the flow of knowledge with the eidetic memory we just use flow of knowledge bump up this ginger brute and again we have a way to make haste, and I think this is a little bit better. I actually took away the Siren, the uh, the Pirate Siren. I don't think this deck needs it. I really don't. It doesn't really do anything other than, like, create a map. We don't use map tokens. We don't care. It doesn't draw. It doesn't do anything. We don't need it. Don't run it. I, that card's phenomenal. Don't run it. Not in this deck. It doesn't make any sense. So, um, and so I got the Academy Lore Master. I got to be honest. I'm not exactly sure how I like this card. It is pretty decent. It does let you draw an additional card, but the only thing is, is that it does have you cost everything two more to cast and sometimes the opponent does benefit off of it i don't know i'm just kind of testing it out but i think it is pretty quirky and i do like it but other than that this deck is pretty obvious oh let's i guess we'll do the steam course teller flying vigilance draw two cards and then everything a lot of our stuff is you know if we do have you know more legendary art enchantments that we need or if we're not ready for the flow of knowledge you just ditch it but other than that flying vigilance and that's really really nice so this is the deck it's pretty pretty simple we're going to use you know our creatures eidectic memory flow of knowledge hopefully but you don't even need the flow of knowledge pretty much the eidectic memory is going to put some stuff on these little weenies here and we're just going to make some magic happen baby this is blue mono blue draw and this plays a lot differently than the gin stuff so i'm really excited to see it uh consider joining the channel that would help me out monetarily as a content creator go ahead and subscribe if you have not already and without further ado let's get ready to vanquish some enemies Recreative? I don't know what's going on there. Hello, how's it going? Let's keep this, baby. All right, it looks okay to me. Not like the craziest thing ever, but I don't know. I think we'll get down the Elusive Otter first. Yeah, we might want to prowess this up, you know. Get a little otter, a little cutie pie. See what we got here. Ooh, there we go. We got into the Eidectic Memory. Let's go straight in for that so that we can get our otter nice and pumped up here. Three, three. Otter coming at you. Let's go. Let's go. All righty here. This is a, I mean, this is a pretty nice little, uh, it's gimmicky, but I love it. All right. Well, I think we're going to go in for the prodigy. We don't need to go in for the ginger brute before anything. So I'm going to go for the consider. Get the prowess going on you. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Maybe we're just after some more land. Prodigy can go for one. I think this is fine. So... Let's do this on the Otter. 4-4, four, four, swing in. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Prodigy. We're gonna put this on one. As long as it has one plus one plus one counter, you can always get an extra draw, because then you can just replace it with a memory, give it the Prodigy, memory. Temporary Lockdown, ouch. Ouch. Okay. I think we're just gonna have to go for Double Brute. Double Brute and go for Fairy Vandal. Yeah, I was not seeing that coming. Obviously, it's a very, very used card. I should definitely see it coming, so. Um, let's see. Definitely have Soaring City. I think that's the only way we can really deal with that. Veil. Sure. <sighs> Nobody knows Dominaria shadows like me. Sacrifice a creature. Well, we're still gonna sacrifice a Brute. One of your friends has to leave. One of my friends has to leave. Well, we do get another memory. That's phenomenal. We wouldn't take that all day. All right. And an ingenious prodigy. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's do this. X equals zero. I'm going to do a little weird thing here. We're going to put this on the prodigy so that we can draw. Swing and you, kill you, deal this. If they have another lockdown, I think we just shrug and say, Fine. good game. I'll take my zombies and leave. Although, I mean, maybe we could Fading Hope our own prodigy. I mean, not much we can do about it, but I am going to do this on the prodigy. Scholar is actually pretty good. We're going to keep you. Yeah, I mean, two temporary lockdowns. There's not, I mean, two lockdowns in the top 12 cards in their deck. 48 out of 60. I mean... There's not much you can do about it. So let's go for Scholar. Um, ooh, well, got make that a lot of Scholars. And I think we're just going to drop this down for zero. Maybe we just top deck into another Eidectic Memory is what it is. But yeah, two lockdowns on the top 12. If they have a Sunfall here, absolutely nighty night. There's nothing we can do about that. The silence is deafening. You think they would just slam it down? I mean, I'm tapped out. This would be the best possible thing you could do. So, I think, I think the longer we take, the longer we take, the better we're looking. Just because why wouldn't they just do it right now? <laughs> Deadly cover up. All right, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna keep the land drop just in case. Well, never mind. All right, we are at the mercy of the RNG Lords. We do pack Flow of Knowledge. So, I mean, there's definitely an off chance that we could um, get a little something something at the peril. I mean, is this just, is this, what is this? Is this just board wipes and Liliana? Like, what is this? Consider, I guess the memory, oh my God, at this point, I mean, we don't even have a creature to like really go off of. So I think we're just searching for a Flow of Knowledge. They get the flow of knowledge, so I mean, hopefully they don't see a Liliana. Fading hope. I'm gonna waste absolutely no time. Let's get the flow of knowledge going. Draw five, discard two. Emperor, not great, but it's whatever. I hope you're ready to. Lose. I'm not ready to lose, Emperor. Guards, to me. To me. I guess we can really consider in a land, maybe. I guess so. Doesn't feel great, but nothing really feels great here. Instead of going in for the Prodigy, I mean, we, I think we're just fading hope this thing. There is a world where we can kind of like go crazy with the Ginger Brew. So let's do this. I think we're looking for either a memory or an Otter. Do we care about the Otter that much? Man, at this point, I don't think we care about the Otter too much. Yeah, I think we're going to have to put the otter away. We're just looking for a piece that can actually win this the game like that. That's not a piece, but we're going to have to do this. All right, I'm going all in on this prodigy here, baby. 6-7. We have Skulk. If they've got removal, which seems pretty likely. Scrolls Hive, all right. Maybe they don't. I wish this kind of worked like the uh, otter. I have got new moves to teach. You got new moves to teach me. Okay, well this is looking okay. I guess we have at least a shot. 
So Prodigy, I'm gonna draw. Yeah, I, I think I definitely want to draw here. Hadawara, Soaring City. Okay. Soaring City is actually pretty good. Um, what we got here? Memory, Vandal, Brute, Prodigy, Memory, Otter. So we're definitely gonna do that. But I don't have any way to pump up the board, so. I'm going to go for the Brute. Can't be blocked except for Haste. So we can at least get the Emperor down to one. Swing in for you. Swing in for you. So Chump Block. And we're hanging in there. As long as the Emperor doesn't have two, they can't go for the Exile ability. So it's nice. And then we can go for this. I mean, we're, we're hanging in there. Screlvy. Don't really care about that. Which one would we rather have? I think we would rather have... Man, I don't know. The, the Otter is pretty nice, but I don't have any prowess stuff in my hand. So I think we're probably just going to go in for the Vandal and then the, the Memory. So I think we're going to go for this temporary lockdown. Farewell. Okay, I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't love it, but... Yeah. Okay. And another Scrub's Hive? This Scrub's Hive does damage to them, so I mean... It's not real... I mean, they do lose one life at the beginning of an, at each turn. And they go for the plus one. Ooh, we might be looking okay here, so... Show them how we greet our enemies. Brute Vandal. I think it's just gonna be the Vandal. I know I'm taking a little bit of time here, I do apologize, but... I am roping, so Otter. I don't think we can do the Otter stuff. I think it's gonna have to just be this one, yep. Final answer. Put you back and look at that. There we go. Fairy Vandal. Just a land, which is not great. All right. Hopefully we can draw into something that draws us something. And we do. We get a Steam Core Scholar. Let's do this. Flow of knowledge. Um, hold on, hold on. Are we good? Oh my God. There's no way. There's no way we take this. Flow of knowledge, and we draw a bazillion cards. And now with the eidetic props of memory, we're gonna put this on the ginger brute. 11 11 ginger brute, they are tapped out. We survived how many board wipes? Farewell, path of peril, deadly cover up, temporary lockdowns. It doesn't matter. GG's good game. Cryptics, cryptics, hello. Okay, I. I think we can keep this. It's cool. Mm, maybe let's be a little bit more picky. Let's mulligan. I think I do want a little bit some more draw things. So we got the Ardactic Memory. I think we're gonna go ahead and roll with this. And I did see, I did see our opponent gave us a hello. I guess we'll get rid of a land. Maybe we go kind of wide here with the Ardactic Memory. We draw that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that and give our opponent the hello. I saw that cryptics. Gotta be friendly. Gotta be friendly around these parts. So, all right, let's go ahead and drop our little ginger brute here. Ba bam 19 the reason that we have the ginger brute is if we do have a bunch of flow of knowledge and shit like that we have the eidetic memory and things are looking good and speaking of the devil we are looking good there so um i guess we'll risk it you know we might get countered here which you know is what it is we don't really have to have it but we like it we definitely like it you want to know more light oh negate oh okay you don't see negate a whole lot anymore so okay Maybe I should have gone for the Otter then? I guess we... Better safe than sorry. Another flow of knowledge can be pretty good, but now seeing two of them is a little scary. But I'm gonna go for Ginger Brute here, man. Gonna go for Ginger Brute. They can definitely no more lies this. It's all the rage now, I hear. Nope. Alright, that's looking good. I'm gonna swing in, see if we can drop our Elusive Otter as well. Two damage is two damage. So, looks good to me. I'm gonna try and drop my Elusive Otter. That's right. Elusive Otter, baby. That is... Does anything else have that sort of, um... Ooh. Oh, right, because the Citadel... I was gonna say, what? But yeah, the Citadel actually has two for land sources. I was gonna say, say one, two. How did they get a Mirror token off that? But... Alrighty. Definitely not... No, heck no. You can take your Poison Counter. Absolutely not. 
Oh, well, mm, let's go ahead and give them a cry face, because that's really bad. Well, that's not a cry face, that's an angry donut face, but that's still okay. So consider, yeah, this is looking a little rough. I think, you know what, I mean, this is slow, but if we can pop off a flow of knowledge with five islands. Ooh, a soaring city, <laughs> that's actually is, that is actually is uh, pretty decent. So, I don't think I want to go for flow of knowledge instead. I think I'd rather just bounce the temp, uh, It's so close, but I think because this is not an island, it becomes a little less advantageous. So, I think I'd rather just go for the Soaring City on their temporary lockdown. But it is close. Nope, not blocking. Not blocking with the stuff that we're going to get, so let's go ahead and do that. We at least do get another turn of swinging in. And then if they once they drop the temporary lockdown, I think then we go for Flow of Knowledge if we top deck into a land. All right, look at our land. All right, I mean, we're hanging in there. You know what? I think I'm going to have to flow of knowledge. We do get one extra damage off with the flow, with the otter here. I think we're going to try this out. They either have a counter spell or they don't. They've got plenty to go for temporary lockdown and a counter spell next turn. So we might as well do this now. Not looking good. There we go. We'll give them the crying face this time now. But the Elusive Otter, well, at least we do get the Prowess. And you know what? We have a, we still have another Flow of Knowledge. We still have another Flow of Knowledge. So if they don't have another one, maybe we're looking okay. I have to be a little wary of these Toxic Counters. Poison Counters, whatever you want to call them. Temporary Lockdown is not great, but again, we do have this Flow of Knowledge. So as long as we have this, it's maybe not the end of the world. Scholar... We draw five, discard two. It's essentially a plus three. I think that's probably the best move here. So let's go into the flow of knowledge. If they have another counter, oh, Azorius control. Okay, no, we don't. Okay, we're good. All right, what are we getting right here? Ooh, and this is gonna have to be the land here. Not really the sexiest of draws. Um, Prodigy. Oh, maybe we just. Man, I really hate to put this down as a zero one. I guess we'll have to, though. Down to five. We still have two creatures here, and there's an eidectic memory. Seems a little bit too late, but we'll, we'll still make a use of it. So let's go for our Scholar here. Oh, Control. Stop your little... Stop your games, Control. Flow of Knowledge. There we go. I think... Um, man, I kind of want to keep that. I think we're going to have to discard two. That's fine. I guess the Prodigy has to go by default. I don't love it, but I guess so. Boom, boom. Eidectic Memory. And we still have another flow of knowledge. I mean, we're hanging in there. No more lies. Yep, that sucks. But I guess the flow of knowledge is still alive and well. Are they? Is there? Yeah, I mean, Mirix? Mirix actually is a win condition, and we're, we're putting... They're putting on a clinic right now, because honestly, at this point, it's looking like they're going to get what they want. Down to 14. Alright, we got a Fading Hope. Let's maybe just try to... I know that... Yeah, there's just no possible way, I don't think, that we can realistically go for the Eidectic Memory after Flow of Knowledge. They just have too much removal and, and disruption, so I don't think I'm going to even try to do that. This actually isn't that bad. Let's go in for Flow of Knowledge. Let's just do this now. If they have the counter spell, we need the Fading Hope to Anchorage. Wow, they don't. Wow, okay. We might be in business. Okay. Definitely going to Fading Hope the Anchorage. They're tapping it. Okay. I guess they're floating. Fairy Vandal. I think we just pretty much want an eidetic memory. And then we can put it on the ginger brew after a flow of or a flow of knowledge. We already have the memory, obviously. Down to ten. I guess we'll just drop it. Obviously we don't get the plus one plus ones or whatever, but I think we'll try. Okay. Ingenious Prodigy. 
God, they're up to ugh, six counters here. This is definitely nerve wracking. Up to seven. Nah, I can't believe this is essentially just like a poison deck, man. All right, we do have the Ginger Brew. If we just find a way to draw a bazillion cards, which isn't, you know, isn't out of the realm of possibility. I want them to tap out. Just tap out. Just tap out so I can do my thing. I think we're just going to go in for the Scholar. Let's try it out. All right, we do get the draw. Oh, these Fairy Vandals. I guess Fading Hope's... Oh, mmm... At this point, these fairy vandals, they're just like, I'm not overly concerned with the fairy vandals. We can, I'd rather just flash them in. At this point, we can't flow of knowledge. So I think what we're going to do is just do this and then go for two. So that I can, f oh, no, 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 one, excuse me. No, wait, two. Did, did I press that correctly? Okay. All right, sorry, I have to map out what I want to do here. We're not ready to push for lethal or anything like that, I don't think, so... We'll just do this. Let's see if they've got the Wandering Emperor. I'm sure this is the type of deck that would be running the Wandering Emperor. Down to six, and I think we're gonna do this. Man, we actually could go for zero. Just kinda, like, chump block, maybe? Let's end the turn. I think we may... We might just wanna flash in Fairy Vandal. Ugh, all right. Memory Deluge. I think Ginger Brute's the key here, though. The haste with the memory might really be the key. I don't think they have creatures with haste, so that's always nice. Farewell. Okay. They don't get rid of my enchantment. Well, that's, yeah, because they have a temporary lockdown. They can't do that, so... Okay. I don't think this is that bad, really. All, all things considered. Are we good to go? They have only two lands here. Let's go for Fairy Vandal. Alright. Fairy Vandal. I don't think they can, like, disrupt two things, right? I guess we'll keep the Consider so that I can do the Fairy Vandal buff. My turn. Ingenious Prodigy. Alright, let's do it, Ginger Brute. Consider. Land. Ooh, main move. Okay. Let's try to get something else other than a land here. And another Steam Core Scholar. I think we might have this. Let's try it out. Steam Core Scholar. We don't this thing doesn't have flying, which kind of hurts out the Steam Core Scholar um stuff here, but. A flow of knowledge. Oh my god, that'd be so nice with the Ginger Brute. But I think we're going to decline and probably get rid of the Prodigy, I suppose. Yeah, the two Prodigies are just not going to cut it right now. So let's do this. Consider. Another Scholar. I guess we'll just keep it. Let's go as wide as possible, I suppose. All right, we don't have enough for lethal here, though. That's the only problem. Man, we have the Ginger Brute. We've got the Flow of Knowledge. I don't think we're going to be able to seal the deal on this one right here. This actually is not bad. This is not bad at all. We're absolutely keeping that on top. Deal two. Another. And this is actually nice, because Farewell, they can't go for Farewell. That would give us the temporary lockdown back. And... Shit. No! Jace is gonna get rid of my emotions are distractions. Focus on the facts. Okay, so it goes with the minus two, which gets rid of the We can improve upon your ideas. Oh, that really hurts. Memory delusion. Okay, we might be good. We might be good. I was gonna say we just need a ginger brew. Ginger brew, I don't think it matters. Let's go! Let's go! Take that control! Wolf Run. Hello, Wolf Run. Well, I've got a pretty good hand here. Let's see if this elusive otter can do any damage here. Feel pretty good about this. So, with power less than 
yeah, this is really, really nice with the eidetic memory. I, I really like this. Let's see if we got this. See if we can make a good run on Wolf Run. See if Wolf Run is even there. Well, there we go. No, we don't have to give the hello. We don't have to give the hello. Chop our elusive otter, and we are elusive as ever. I think I'm just going to go straight in for the eidetic memory. And yeah, this otter, I don't know. I actually ended up taking out the... Um, the Siren. Oh god, what, what's its name? I don't know. Either way, we're gonna go in for the Adectic Memory, and here we go! Prowess! And we're getting it going early. I guess we are kind of like an aggro -y type of deck. So, swing in. So, with this Otter, creatures with power less than its power can't block it. So, if we can get this thing up to the high heavens with the Adectic Memory and all the drawing, if they don't kill it, oh, and they kill it, unfortunately, but that's okay. Flow of Knowledge. Okay, this, I mean, this deck is looking pretty spicy. Let's go ahead and drop our Scholar, of course. And do I want to keep the flow of knowledge? Gotta discard an instant or a creature card. I think we're gonna get rid of the Fading Hope. It's close, but if this is Boros, and it does seem to be up to a 4 4 Vig Flying Vigilance is nice, not a 4 4, but what I'm assuming is this is going to be like Boros. Oh, oh Angel. Oh, okay. All right, nothing doing yet. So we can't go in for our flow of knowledge to do the, the crazy the card draw. So, mm, do I want to drop the otter? I think I do with the flow of knowledge coming. I think I do. So we'll go ahead and swing in. I don't think they have anything too crazy here. Let's have like a get lost. See, I was expecting Boros Convoke, but they've got oh a Ganjo. Ugh. I guess I could Soaring City this thing. Uh, I'm gonna say no. That is a that's tough though. I kind of was not expecting that. Well, I think we'll just go in for the Aganjo. Yeah, this isn't that bad, especially with Fairy Vandal. I think we'll be okay here. Elusive Otter. We do have the flow of knowledge, so you know what? Hey, the Scholar did its choice. D did its choice. It did its job. We'll be okay. All right, Fairy Vandal. All right, here we go, baby, and another Elusive Otter, just for fun. But we're going to drop this, and with the Elusive Otter and Flow of Knowledge, with the Eidetic Memory here, things are about to get pretty crazy. I am just going to do this now, because we have to get this to go before the memory goes off. Boom, 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 and we're going to draw uh, discard two cards. I think we'll just go for maybe another Vandal. I guess another Otter would be pretty nice. We have another Flow of Knowledge, so yeah, this seems okay. And Fairy Vandal goes up, and Eidectic Memory, let's put this on the Otter, and they can't block. So now we've got a 7-7 seven, seven Otter that cannot be blocked, which is pretty nice. And they just give it up! They technically didn't lose yet, but the Otter was too much. Lazy Bolt. Hello. Alright, let's go ahead and keep this. Turn 1 Ginger Brute, we can make do with this. Oh yeah. Flow of Knowledge, we typically want the Flow of Knowledge after we set up for our Eidectic Memory. Thanks to Prof. Ooh, Vestless Rhinestock. Another flow of knowledge on turn two. Ooh, that's kind of rough, but what's not rough is this Restless Vinestock. What I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to put this down right now. I don't know what we're playing. Restless Vinestock is kind of weird. I don't want to run into, like, I make this appear, and then we feel kind of dumb, so I guess we'll just play it on the Fairy Vandal at Sorcery Speed. Oh, Rot Priest. That's what we're playing against, huh? Ooh, okay. Not in love with that, but I am in love with the Scholar, so... Okay, let's just go for the, yeah, let's go for the Scholar. Nothing too fancy here. I mean, we're just gonna have to race this thing. At this point, Ginger Brute not looking so sexy. I think we're just gonna pump up the Fairy Vandal, swing in. We got the Scholar. We'll be okay. Yeah, let's go get and rig it. We don't, we we're not gonna need two of these full of knowledge, so. Bump up the Fairy Vandal, and we'll be on our way. All right, 16 to 20. So we're racing their life, and they are racing with poison counters. And I. Don't really love that. Um, don't really love that trade-off here. So already up to one, which is effectively uh, two damage, because all their one is basically two real life. So Storm Chaser Drake, oh my god, they got the self-target stuff here. This is pretty scary. Pretty scary. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why are you swinging in here? I guess we we'll just chump block here, man. We could double block. I don't want to double block. I'd rather just chump block. We have to prevent the Toxic. Yeah, chump blocking is fine to me, honestly. Elusive Otter. 
Don't have any way to draw until next turn with the otter, so... You know, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna swing in. They want to block with the drake? I mean, if they have... Oh, I'm not supposed to say this. I mean, this is risky, but again, we don't really have room for... We don't really have a whole lot of room for speculation. I'm doing this at sorcery speed. We just have to play all of our stuff as fast as possible, as boring as possible at sorcery speed, just because of the nature of how this deck works. So let's just get our stuff down, and however it plays out is however it plays out. All right. Hopefully the Rot Priest doesn't go too crazy, but we know. We know this Rot Priest goes nuts. Audacity. All right. Actually, uh, I mean, it's not like the worst thing ever. If they have a 4-1 Trampler, like, whatever. I'm more concerned about the poison counters than the life. So, I'll let this go. I ain't giving you a draw on getting rid of all my creatures. No, no, no. We ain't doing that. Combat research? Oh, God. God, this deck is so brutal, man. Well, you don't have Toxic, so I'm letting you go if you want to swing in. They have 12 life, though. I mean, there's definitely a ways that we can get through this. It's never fun, though. Never fun playing against the Rot Priest. Another Vine Stock, okay. The Vine Stock is kind of an interesting choice, considering that I don't think they really care that much about pure damage, but maybe they do. Another land. Let's just do this now. Again, sorcery speed. Pretty boring, but we want to get our prowess. And we want to get our Fairy Vandal damage in before we kind of reassess what we're doing here. I guess the Consider... Ginger Brute we can make unblockable, but if we don't have the Eidectic Memory and the Flow of Knowledge stuff, I think it's close. I think that's the right move here. So let's go ahead and get our stuff on the Fairy Vandal. They got 12 life. I wish we could prowess one more time with the otter. This otter doesn't do a whole lot right now. I think we're going to have to do this. And then the otter, we can probably just chump lock, as gross as that is. Chump lock the rot priest? Don't have a whole lot of options. I, I just don't think we have a whole lot of options right now. They're going to trade the drake. Okay, let's see what you got here. I'm assuming you have some sort of royal treatment. Okay. Um... What the four? I mean, is this really the end of the world? No, but it's not the beginning either. This may be the point in the match. Another Rod Priest? No, not two Rod Priests! Uh, okay. Audacity. How many poison counters are up to? Six. Draw. We might be okay here. Hold on. I mean, if they have nothing else, I mean... All right, let's actually map this out because we have to win this turn. So we know Fading Hope on the Drake is obviously the best move. And then the Elusive Otter can finish the game. I want, I want to see if there's any sort of way we can consider and just find a second Fading Hope just in case. Prodigy. Do they have any sort of... Um, do they have any sort of response? I don't think they did. So let's do this. I think we might be good. If they have no response, it's not going to matter if we don't get another Fading Hope, so. Yeah, this is this is great, right? Fading Hope on Storm Chaser Drake. Prowess. I know we get counters, but up to eight. I think this is it anyway, so. Ginger Brute, I guess. All right, draw a card. If they can self-target with this, we're, we're screwed. But if not, they can't block. So the Elusive Otter actually can scoop in. All right. We get it. Let's go. Oh, my God. That was absolutely uncomfortable. But we got the job done. Let's go. Dasho. Dasho, Dasho. Let's go. All right. Got the Elusive Otter. Let's see if we can make use of this. All right, I think, man, dropping the the elusive pro or ingenious prodigy. I switch them. I said elusive prodigy, the elusive prodigy, the ingenious prodigy, and the elusive otter. Pretty nice little cards here, especially from Aldrain. I've never played with these cards before, so nice to see them. And we do have the eclectic memory, which of course is very very nice. 
Um, let's actually go in for the... Man, the Lore Master is pretty good. I'm running two of these bad boys. Still not sure how I feel about them, but... Let's do this. And then hold up the Fading Hope. I think I like that a little bit more. Yeah, we don't get the prowess damage off this, but the reason we have prowess on the Otter is for the Adetic Memory to really storm off. So Phoenix Check, man, this is unfortunate. I really wish it was a two drop, because now the Phoenix Check's a little awkward. And the festivities. Oh, baby, let's go. Fading Hope on the Chick. That is not awkward at all. So now the prowess kicks us up to two. Looking good. Flow of Knowledge. I think we're going to keep it. I'm going to keep the Flow of Knowledge. Woohoo! All right, our otters live. That's pretty nice. So, you know what? Let's go in for our, our eidectic memory. And hopefully we can top deck into a land. Oh, we do, which is nice. All right, I'm going to be I'm going to be super crazy here. I'm going to be super crazy. Let's drop the prodigy for 1 or for 0 rather. If they have another and the festivities, we're just not looking too good, but I'm going to risk it to get the biscuit. We're going to put this on the prodigy so that I can draw with the prodigy. All right. A little risky. Another and the festivities. I end our festivities. So this is very risky, but if they've got two, all right, just gosh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I don't know why they didn't swing with etching. I'm not blocking, so. And I will take the action here. Of course, the Ingenious Prodigy with the Eidetic Memory works very, very well. Another land, we're looking pretty good. All right, so we got the Ginger Brute. Ginger Brute. Ginger Brute with the Flow of Knowledge is pretty much like just like GG's. So I can't go in for any sort of prowess nonsense, which is pretty awful. All right, well, yeah, I think this is fine. Ginger Brute. Lore Master. I guess we might as well push for damage. Oh, you have haste. No, never mind. You, I was going to say, you have haste. I can't, I can't swing it on you, so. Uh, I guess we'll just put it on the Prodigy. Pass. Okay, this is fine. Alright, so the Academy of Lore Master. This card's really, really interesting. I don't think they're going to take the draw. It makes really no sense. I don't think they'd want. They do! Really? Oh, no! Oh, man. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, man. That is so unfortunate. But, you know, we were playing with fire. Okay, what is going on here? They have 55 cards in their deck. Okay, I'm salty. I am so salty right now. Mm, 55 cards in their deck, and they got two in the festivities. Oh, I'm salty. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's see if we can fight through it. There's a definitely a good chance that we can draw an additional card. I'm going to say no, because we do have the Flow of Knowledge at this point. So let's say no. Flow of Knowledge, and let's see what we got here before we can kind of make a plan. Discard two cards. I think it's going to have to be Lore Master and a land, I suppose. And now we can put this on maybe the Prodigy, but now we're at down to eight life. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to have to do it. Oh my, I can't believe it though. The end of, man. Oh, this is going to be a nail biter. I, I, if I had to choose, if they have a monster's rage, they're going to be able to blow over my prodigy here. So I'm, I would hope they draw. They got enough cards. I don't think they need to draw to make everything more expensive, but we'll see what they do. Maybe it's, um, Maybe it's alluring to them. Maybe I should have gone for the Prodigy, because obviously Skulk is... Oh, no, no, we're good, we're good. Because remember, Skulk and the Otter, they work opposite of each other, so... Just please, no uh, Monstrous Rage. If they have Monstrous Rage, then it just is what it is. Chick, come on, no Monstrous Rage. Um, we might even be dead even so, hold on. Uh, let's just do this. Six, they can pump this up to seven. No monster, just no monstrous rage. No! no, oh my god, that is unfortunate. Wow, G a good game. I'll give you up for the end of festivities. Econom CZ, hello, hello. All right, well, two memories. This looks good. This looks good, not phenomenal, but not bad. Just good. We'll give it a thumbs up.
All right. Ooh, that was a mulligan. Let's go ahead and give our opponent the friendly mulligan. Hello. Everybody needs and deserves a friend. Oh, hello. You luck at the hospitality. There we go. There we go. Looking good. Warden of the Inner Sky. Okay, I don't like that. Not a big fan of that, but we got no choice here. We could go for the memory, but we're not. I think we're just going to go in for the fairy vandal. And then we can go in for the scholar turn three. It looks pretty good to me. I'm going to flash in the Fairy Vandal. I don't think we have to take any more damage than we have to, so I'm okay with the bounce here. I'm assuming this is Boros Convoke, so we kind of know what goes on there. So now I think I do want to get the Memory down, just because the Fairy Vandal is a nice little thing. Oh man, the Scholar is pretty good too, though. You know what? Let's just go in for the Scholar. Let's go to the Scholar, and yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. Flow of Knowledge, of course, being beautiful. I think we'll get rid of one Consider. And now our Fairy Vandal goes off looking beautiful. You're looking good, kid. You're looking good. So nothing on turn two is actually pretty strange from this deck. Usually they are pretty pretty gung-ho. Down to 18. Are we going to outrace? Are we going to outrace them? That's pretty wild. So let's go in for Prof's Eidectic Memory. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Fairy Vandal goes off. Ooh, we even have a Fading Hope. I think it's all but over. I'm not even joking. There's no way they can be able to compete with this. Let's do this. Another Fading Hope. And now with the Eidetic Memory, I guess we'll put it on the Scholar because it does have Vigilance. We'll go kind of wide here. You thought Boros Convoke was going to go wide. Well, I guess we'll go a little wide here. Now with the Fading Hope, even if they do have Imidane's Recruiter, are we that worried? Not really. Another War Leader's Call. That is fine. They can't even swing in. And we're going to Fading Hope. This is brutal. Yeah, and we're going to go for Flow of Knowledge next turn. And things were about to get even more brutal.